Today, we become legends. Hey, my name's Zeta. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a Smite 2 deep dive for Mordred, the next new god coming to Smite 2. Uh, I believe he's going to be in the 24-7 alpha patch. Uh, we'll have patch notes for that on Wednesday, so two days from now. So, be sure to subscribe if you want to catch my coverage of that as well. But today, we have Mordred, which is going to be super cool. Uh, obviously, Arthurian. So, I'm mega excited for that. I love my Arthurian gods. He also seems like he's going to be some kind of, like, warrior assassin hybrid is the kind of vibe I got from the um, closer look post that he did a couple of weeks ago. And I assume there's going to be, like, kit information and a bunch of other stuff in this video as well in addition to what we got on the closer look blog where they kind of explained him in like very uh nebulous terms hopefully here we'll get a little bit more concrete information on how he's gonna play and all that kind of stuff so uh yeah let's just jump right in ancient lore Morja was slain by arthur taking just a devastating wound to the heart but in smite 2's lore through some combination of magic and medicine he was able to survive we're here to talk about mordred Arthur's nemesis. Dude, it's such dark side of vibes with like the sword and stuff. Also like that wound through his heart, like uh, further back here. That's a pretty sick like nod to his law. I like that, that's cool. Smite 2's Arthur's nemesis. We wanted a god that the community had been really excited about. So we were looking through a lot of social media posts. We saw Mordred standing out in a bunch of places and he kind of fit. Good on you guys. Good on you guys. I've been screaming from the rooftops that they should have Mordred for a while. Uh, it seems like a lot of other people were as well. Uh, you know, they're looking through the community on like what they want to bring. Uh, Hecate was obviously, or Hecate, should I say? I keep getting roasted for my pronunciation of that. Uh, Hecate was a very uh, highly requested god, uh, as was Mordred. So it seems like they're really bringing a lot of the fan favorites here. Now we just need Lady of the Lake dude uh, get on that iris uh, add lady of the lake as some kind of like enchanter mage slash guardian style uh play style i think that, that the pantheon will be pretty complete at that point it, a lot of tones and themes we were looking to go for right now on spy 2 as well we wanted someone melee and we wanted someone darker and eviler he's going to be an arthurian god and is going to be another god where we play around with strength and intelligence, allowing him to kind of have a hybrid playstyle depending on what you want to build and what part of his kid you really want. Oh, dude, Soul End's looking sick. They didn't even show this, I don't think, in the, like, um dev inside show that they did like last week they showed mid they showed a lot of the jungle but i don't think they really showed the side lane so lane's looking kind of sick dude but like the stone floor like th this looks good this looks good also we got like a bunch of uh, ability like stuff going oh, on here so we got basic attacks Allowing where he uses both the blades kind of have a hybrid some kind of tether ability and intelligence so kind of like kind of you link to someone with a tether it does damage and then does uh tick damage and roots them and you kind of like uh it looks like he gives him a shield or like lifesteal or something like that the build is interesting as well it's probably not an actual optimal build but you know he's got like polynomicon in there like it, it seems like he's gonna have a lot of in scaling so poly probably is gonna be good on him and uh obviously a lot of strength scaling as well so you can go poly and hydras i feel like that's not gonna be that efficient because uh you probably want to go like just one of these and then try and spec more into like strength if you're going hydras or into if you're going poly i feel like split you're splitting yourself a little too thin there and you're not gonna get as much value but uh poly is definitely stronger than uh hydras so maybe you'd want to lean a little bit more but yeah, it seems like he really can't go a hybrid, and uh, this is one of the abilities. Playstyle, depending on what you want to build and what part of his kid you really want. Oh, another one there. So you just like a swipe attack. Depending on what you want to build and what part of his kid. And then uh, like an overhead slash as well. What so you, you want to like combo that. What part of his kid you really want to cool. push forwards. One of the ways that we use strength and intelligence differently with Mordred is his different swords. Morning is his larger sword. It scales more heavily with strength. It does have some intelligence scaling as well, but it's not as important What's for kind his of larger knocker? sword. Clarence, on the other hand, is this thinner, more agile sword, and he uses that with high intelligence scaling. So when you build hybrid, or if you even want to pump up the intelligence with Mordred, you're actually going to be dealing even more damage with yes, it. Yes, that's that we saw again. He also seems to have some kind of dash. Mordred, you're actually going to be dealing even more or damage with his. You see there, like he, he's got some kind of dash as well. Uh, so it seems like there's a lot going on with him. And yeah, they, they mentioned in the um, closer look post about Mordred that like one of his swords is going to have more in scaling and one of his swords is going to have more strength scaling. So that's pretty cool. So when you build hybrid or if you even want to pump up the intelligence with Mordred, you're actually going to be dealing even more damage with his other left-handed sword, Clarence. He also has a similar uh, like a reference to King Arthur in that he has two ultimates, an ultimate that can be a normal ultimate and then a supercharged ultimate. His oh, so that's one of his ultimates. An ability unlike anything we've ever seen in Smite. He charges across the map in any direction he wants, and when he hits someone, he does this massive, giant AoE knock-up, like, combo, multi-strike, super <laughs> acrobatic and aerial. Okay, how many adjectives do you want, Ajax? Jesus Christ. Really, really visually impressive. Okay, uh, here we just go. Just a powerful ability for some CC. Oh, that looks sick. Damage. When you activate- Okay, I assume when he slams them down, it also probably does damage. Dude, that looks really cool. So you can, like, go through walls. Up, like, combo, multi-strike, 
super acrobatic and aerial, really, really visually impressive. Um, and just a powerful. I wonder how far that can CCM. go, dude. Also, the jungle, the jungle looking good, dude. I gotta say. Yeah, I wonder how far that can go. It seems like there was a circular tie bar oh, yeah, on the edge of it. Uh, but yeah, I assume that can go pretty far, dude. But like, can you go from like mid to a side lane with it, or is it gonna be more so like you all kind of where I thought would ult to gank a side lane or something like that? I don't know. That looks really sick, though. Like, really what once you actually do oh, hit man, them, just a powerful ability slam them up into the sky, do a bunch damage. of damage. I wonder if it's gonna yeah. have true damage, dude. Like uh, Arthur's ult did on launch, probably not. Full ability for some CC and targeted damage. Yeah, that looks sick. When you activate his ultimate, Mordred poses for a second and then he begins dashing. Oh, so you can go far. It looks like uh, the, the timer was, yeah, the timer was a, not right about to expire, but probably about to expire as he hit that UVA, so. He begins yeah, it seems like you can go You're about, like, half a jungle a length into a lane. In front of you. Through that hole, yeah, you go all can the way through see the Jeep terrain, it. which you'll then be able to run through. So you're going through walls, you're going through That's pretty cool, though. That players have put down, as well as vision of people Second ever map. god that can go through we walls, did. like, properly. You know, like, it's clean, obviously, and there's this. a lot of effort to make sure that when you go through walls and you're kind of in this predator mode where you want to hone oh my into God. gods, that the area around you, your I assume they can see kind of you obscure, do it again. So you kind of have this blinding effect. But like, how do you avoid really that? Oh, you, you can get multiple people with it? Okay, that's insane, dude. I assumed it was single target. Look at this. He catches up a load on the side, so everyone in that AoE, <laughs> everyone in that AoE around you, that massive AoE, you're yeah. going to get thrown really up. Just and it does, like, does a full damage and slams you down. Really oh my God. Up the kit. That is going to wreck team fights, dude. If that does a lot of damage, like, he's going to be a own people with that. What's in front of you. We think we really amped up the kit and the visuals in so many ways to make this character feel really above and beyond. And that's the main feedback that we're going to be looking for. So yeah, they've shown him a lot in solo, they've shown him a lot in jungle. Really that, that's kind of what I expected. Uh, it seemed like he, and yeah, from this kit, it does seem like he's maybe going to be sort of like more leaning on the warrior aspects, but obviously that ultimate is fairly assassin-like. And uh, it seems like he is going to have a lot of damage. Uh, you know, they, they showed him with the damage build in the arena, but obviously here he's uh, building uh, the, the shield of absolution. Uh, that's not what it's called. The old item was called absolution. Shield of the Phoenix. He's building Shield of the Phoenix in solo lane. So it seems like he's going to be sort of a uh, dual viable as a solo in a jungle. That's what it looks like. Going for that sort of warrior assassin like hybrid playstyle. And, beyond. and that's the main feedback that we're going to be looking for when we reveal this character and people start playing him is does this character feel like a smite 2 god from minute one that you start playing it? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Because uh, I have to say, Hikate is fun, but she doesn't feel like anything super groundbreaking. Like, they're really pushing the new tech of Smite 2. Like, yeah, she has an interact uh, to, like, buff gods and buff towers and stuff, but that's uh, honestly kind of boring. It's, like, the worst part of her kit, in my opinion. Uh, I think her general kit just flows quite well. And, like, yeah, you can interact with the teleporters on her ult and stuff like that, but I feel like she wasn't super groundbreaking. So, hopefully, Modric can bring some uh, much cooler stuff that, like, really uses the new Smite 2 engine and tech that they can get going with that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I gotta say, dude, he's looking good. He's looking good. I'm very excited to get my hands on this one 24-7 uh, goes live which will be really soon it's gonna be what is eight days eight days until 24-7 goes live uh, we'll have the patch notes on wednesday as well where they'll probably show uh modules like full kit and i'll do an ability overview and stuff like that and uh, obviously all of the other stuff uh, we've seen a lot on the dev insight show already we'll, we'll be getting specific numbers on things coming there'll be other new stuff like they mentioned a new objective that they haven't revealed yet uh, for conquest so there'll be a bunch more stuff there so uh, definitely sub to the channel if you want to catch that as soon as it drops i'll be covering the patch notes but yeah uh, for, for this Modred looking pretty sick, dude, I gotta say. What do you think, though? Uh, let me know down below. Do you think Modred looks like a cool design? Uh, do you like him visually? Do you like his kit from what you've seen? Uh, I think it looks really cool, honestly. Visuals, I can I can take or leave. I've seen a lot of people complaining about the visuals. I think they're fine. Uh, I think they could have gone a lot of different directions with it. Uh, and I think this is perfectly fine. It's nothing insane, though. And then the kit. The kit looks really cool, dude, especially uh, the full charge ultimate. Obviously, that, that's gonna be insane. But yeah, that is uh, the Modred deep dive. Uh, I'll catch you guys for another one later on. Have a great day, and peace out, you nerds. <laughs>